Oh, it's like it's got a Ferrari prancing stallion on it. Maybe it's a Ferrari. Nah, it's a Fiat. Well, actually, isn't that the same thing nowadays? I think it is. Now I'm looking 95, 10 miles out on the island. Boy. 395, Kennedy Tower, following number 319 ahead, 0505. Hello, everybody, I'm Dare Tavares. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Caprini Military Base in Italy and aboard our Fiat CR32. Look at a little dude, he's looking around. Looks like a little inflatable doll, but hey, nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> interesting looking aircraft. Uh, an unequal spanned biplane. Very interesting. All right, let's. Uh, that's an interesting view there. Okay, let's run up our Fiat A30 RA BIS V12 600 horsepower. Actually, see, do we have flaps? No. 600 horsepower. All right, let's run this thing up. I'll turn up the volume and listen to the roar or not. Okay, not the best takeoff right there. Not the best roar either, honestly. Um, well, Plane, you have such a down attitude. Let's trim you up. There we go. All right, trim. Very odd. Okay. An interesting looking aircraft. The Fiat CR32, Italian biplane fighter. This was used extensively during the Spanish Civil War and also into World War II. It's a nimble little Fiat. Compact, robust, highly maneuverable, gave, gave impressive, uh, bleh, impressive, I can't say that word, displays all over Europe in the, in the hands of the, I'm going to screw up this name, but the Patugli Aerobatici, the aerobatic team. Uh, used extensively during the Spanish Civil War, gained a reputation as one of the most outstanding fighting fighter biplanes of all time. Was then overtaken by the more, more modern, more advanced monoplane designs, and it was obsolete by 1939. The fuselage has the same structure as a CR-30. It uses aluminum and steel tubes covered by duraluminum on the nose up to the cockpit, uh, on the back and in lower sections under the tail, uh, and with fabric on the sides and the belly. Ooh, the belly, belly plane. Uh, the wings and tail also has, have a mixed structure with aluminum frame covered by fabric. These Fiat biplanes were used for many aerobatic shows in Italy and abroad. When foreign statesmen visited the Holy City, the uh, Fourth Stormo Regia Aeronautica Elite Unit, whoa, we're going to die, uh, <laughs> based in Rome, put out impressive displays with formations of five or ten aircraft. In 1936, air shows were organized in other European capitals and in major cities, and during the following year in South America. In 1938, Spain acquired a license to build the CR-32. Uh, Hispano Aviancia built 100 examples under the designation HA-132L Thierry. Some of, uh, actually, Thierry, I believe. It's a double R, so you have to thrill it, and I can't do it very well. Uh, I've now lost my place. Okay. Some of them remained in service as the C-1 aero, aerobatic trainers up to 1953. It was, used to, um, it was used on the side of the military rebellion against the Spanish Republic. At least 360 took part in air battles fought over Spain. Pew, 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 pew. Um, sorry. Proved formidable adversaries to the Soviet Polak. Karpov I-15 and Polakarpov I-16 monoplanes. It's probably mispronounced, but I'm sorry. That formed the backbone of the Spanish Republican Air Force. Thanks to the agile CR-32, the Italians managed to obtain air superiority against the Fuerzas Ediaz de la República Española loyalist opponents that flew a motley collection of very different, often obsolete, aircraft. Now, the aerobatic characteristics of this plane... Ooh, that's a, quite a move when you flip the rudder. Wow, wasn't expecting it to do quite that much. I was just going to show it as being maneuverable, but good lord, that plane can flick. Jeez. Uh, and its success in Spain misled the Italian Air Ministry, which formed the view that a fighter biplane still had potential as a weapon of war. Consequently, in May 1939, prior to Italy entering World War II, the CR-32 fighters in Bistera and Quattro versions represented two-thirds of all fighters in the Regia Aeronautica. 
Not the best thing to do when you're taking on stuff like, I don't know, Spitfires. Mm, not good. We have a crew of one, obviously, a speed of 360 kilometers an hour. That's 224 miles per hour. A range of 781 kilometers and 400, that's 485 miles. Wow, well, that's completely not where the runway is. We have an armament of two 7.7 millimeter or 12.7 millimeter uh, Breda SAFAT, wow, machine guns. Uh, and we can carry up to 100 kilograms, that's 220 pounds of bombs if we wanted to. I don't know why we'd want to, but we could. Woo, can we touch down without dying? There we go. We'll just bounce a little bit. It's okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful plane. <laughs> we managed to land despite our bad flying. Yes, yeah, it is actually a really nice looking aircraft. Let's stop. I would say the cockpit needs a little bit of uh, of better. I'll turn the engine off now. Uh, the cockpit could look a little bit better. Twin bladed prop. You can see the machine guns are right there through the through the prop. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's see what our numbers do. Shift one, that's an even worse cockpit. Shift two, there's a modern comm stack. I'm okay with that. There's a GPS, all right, and that's it, which really makes sense because that's really all you have in an aircraft like this. It's a, it's a small, light, nimble thing. Is That's to cock the guns right there. Hmm. There you go. All right, does it open? I can't imagine that main exit opening. Main exit opening, seriously. Main exit open. Main exit closing. That's cute. It's cute that it allows me to do that. All right. Still, not a bad looking plane. The link to this Fiat CR32 is in the description as always. Not a bad little plane. It's it would be an interesting plane to add to your collection if you're if you're collecting a lot of biplanes or Really, this aircraft painted up properly could be quite the little um, uh, aerobatics plane if you were going to be in like multiplayer and wanted just flick aerobatics properly colored. This one would be quite the little aerobatics plane, I think. It certainly has the, the flick tendencies to it, so that's pretty cool. All right, until next time, I've been Derek Tevers. This has been your Flight Simulator X Plane Spotlight, the Fiat CR32. Link is in the description as always. Until next time, remember, aerobatics with dare. Dangerous proposition. Probably not a good idea. Oh, 1233, Kennedy Tower. Greetings. Falling heavy, Boeing 767, touching down. Caution, wake turbulence from 05012, number 24, right to left. Going in 4 right, that's a little bit of copy off. 8 Lima Bravo, traffic just north of the airport, opposite direction along the track, greeting. Helicopter, London, defeat, DSU in sight.